What is up guys and welcome back to Hull City Korean Mode, episode number 11 and today, first up we got Leicester now, obviously we played Leicester last episode in the AFL Cup, obviously it's taken over from the name, the Capital One Cup Final, so the League Cup, you know, that's what they call it in the past, but you know, we won that in the end, we won it on penalties and um, just quite amazing to see, obviously you win a trophy in your first season, obviously with a team like Hull, um, obviously I've improved him as much as I can, but you know, Anyway, it was against Leicester, who we, you know, won against. The game wasn't very good, but to be fair, this game was a whole lot better, and I mean that, guys. I mean, already, Leicester have already scored. I mean, they weren't even a goal in, in you know, normal time and extra time in that game. And there's already a goal. Slimani, their new Algerian record sign, I think it was for 32.5 million, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was for around that amount, but he gets his fourth this season. Only his fourth, which is quite surprising, but Marshall... He got a bit unlucky, I've got to say, you know, he, he did save it, but it came back off him, so it was a bit unlucky, I didn't really, like, blame him for that, but Odebaggio gets his first goal of the season with an absolute bullet header, I mean, you can't see it on this replay, and you couldn't see it on the other one either, so I just thought I'd show the best one as I can, and, you know, as you see, he gets his bullet header in there, and it's a fantastic goal, I've started, obviously, playing him now, he's younger than El Mohamedy, he's actually the same rated now as El Mohamedy, so I've started to play him a bit more, and to be fair, you know, as you see, it's kind of working so he makes the scoreline level and that was it going into half time so you know I felt quite confident felt like the momentum was on our end you know it switched obviously with them scoring first but you know this left winger here don't know who he is it must be like a Scandinavian Polish Ukrainian player or something like that but Kapuska goes and scores in it's a good goal to be fair it's I just I was trying to hold him up and it just won't work in but, you know, as you see, puts it under Marshall into the bottom corner and uh, makes it 2-1 to them. So he gets his second goal of the season quite late on. You know, this game, first half, it well, altogether really didn't have a lot of chances. But the chances that happened kind of ended up in goals. And as you see here, it's just really bad defending from me. It just is. It just is. And I, ah, looking back on it now, I just think it's so poor. I remember... After conceding this goal, I just thought, oh, what am I doing? But Andy King, uh, who's actually obviously moved back into the side in real life after men after um, Kante left, he finished off a good goal there. Poor defending, but, you know, he did well to take all them players on. And uh, he gets his first goal of the season and makes it 3-1. So, you know, it was out of sight, to be fair, now. I was thinking, if I could go get a goal back here, you never know. And to be fair, we actually do Liko, who was a uh, goal hanging a bit. At the far post, uh, he gets a little tap in. Obviously, the first effort got uh, saved, and then he was there in the right place at the right time. So we got a goal back, and I was kind of, you know, looking... Um, I'm thinking, you know, we could actually do this, you know, we could get a point out of this game. He gets his first goal of the season, we also get an achievement. But, look at that, 90th minute... <sighs> Odebaccio, I went sliding in with him, and, um, you know, red card, he was the last man, you know, looking back and thinking about it now, it was a definite red, but then Robert Hoof, I mean, how, how has this gone in, how has he done that, and I don't know, he just pulled out of his locker from out of nowhere, I just, I really don't know how that went in, I mean, Marshall, to be fair, and I'm not taking it away from Hoof, it was a good free kick, but Marshall, he just fell over, and... You know, Robert Hoof gets his first goal of the season. And, um, you know, that was the game. So, 4 2 in the end. Uh, I think that's most goals, you know, I've conceded in the game. Obviously, with uh, Southampton as well. Um, but, you know, them two games, we conceded four but scored two. So, obviously, it ended up 4 2. But the biggest loss I've had so far is, I think, against Everton, which we lost 3 0. So, not too bad all around. And also, as you see, play gets injured, which is a bit frustrating. Uh, but we do go a similar game against Burnley, which in the, was in the league, and we actually won that 2 0. So, um, you know. We're still doing all right in the league. I think we're like fifth now. Um, that was actually our first loss in quite a while. So, you know, we're not doing too bad, like I said. If we get Europa League, which I'm aiming for, and I think we will get that. You know, we've done very well. If we get Champions League, that's even better. But, you know, our uh, our aims and our focus was on to this game against Arsenal in the FA Cup. I think it was the quarterfinals of this at the KC Stadium. And we've actually played Arsenal a lot in the past in the FA Cup and um, you know we've obviously got to the final lost it and then the season after we got we got them in the first round of our round which I think round three and we lost that and then I think we played them again where we lost 4-0 and we drew at home obviously at the Emirates we drew at Emirates 0-0 and then we lost 4-0 at home but you know as you see here this game not a lot of chances whatsoever it was 
really crap. Um, Arsenal, to be fair to them, could have maybe won this game. They had the more clear cut, better chances. But, you know, I was holding out, doing my best. And, um, you know, it was kind of working defensive wise. I was, I thought I was doing alright. To be fair, Marshall, you know, he saved quite a lot. So I was quite glad I mean, had him in, in the goal. So, um, you know, he saved my ass quite a bit. This strike here. Don't know how Navas saved it, but he did. And uh, I didn't know actually the FA Cup now this season goes on to extra time after one leg. I, I didn't know that, obviously. I know they was talking about changing the rules, but I didn't know they actually did it. And I see they do. So we're on to penalties now. And uh, as you see, we miss our first, but luckily Santa Cazola misses his. So, you know, 0-0, uh, fresh clean start. Mabagany uh, obviously scores his. But like I was saying last episode, guys, which we won the penalty shoot against Leicester, um, I've actually learned how to do it now, you know, you guys are probably thinking, oh, what are you on about, we learned how to do penalties ages ago, but I didn't, I've hardly took any penalties whatsoever, and to be fair, I, I, you know, my first penalty shootout, ended up missing them all, every four, so, you know, we're doing a bit better now, I'm scoring more, but this penalty shootout would go on for quite a while, to be fair, you know, if they scored, if we scored, they scored, if we scored, they scored, it was kind of like that, back and forth, as you see, El Mahadi with a thumping effort right into the top left corner, and um, obviously made it 3-2, four out of, uh, 3 out of 4, sorry, and then Danny Welbeck, he, I mean, what a penalty that is, that's, that's the best pen so far, this penalty shootout, it was just absolute bullet and uh, Jake Livermore as you see he also scores makes it 4-3 so there were a bit of pressure on Oxley Chamberlain here because if he'd have missed then we would have obviously gone through but you know he took that away I'm trying to put him off as much as I can with Marshall but you know he's not having any of it he uh, you know sends me the wrong way and uh, obviously he goes to 4-4 and goes to sudden death so it was Robertson he steps up he scores then Debussy changing his run up trying to obviously put me off I was trying to put him off um, but in the end he runs up and obviously tucks away his penalty um, which was annoying me because I just was like you know I I just can't save any penalties. I was glad they weren't saving mine, but I just couldn't save theirs. And I see Odebadjo gets very, very lucky there. You know, Kilo Navas nearly saved that one. Then it was Monreal's go. Could he score with his left foot? Yes, he could. So now it was 6-6, six, six, out, or 6 out of 7, both penalty shootouts. Munezia, this Spanish guy from Stoke, he scored his. Then, as you see, it was Xhaka's goal. Surprising Xhaka was so down far the list, to be fair, because, you know, he's got an absolute bullet of a left foot on him. So I was quite surprised how, you know, last he was taking a penalty. But this guy, as you see here, Burke. Now, one of my targets was signing a youth player and playing him or bringing him on as a sub. And I did that in game. Now, he missed his penalty. And then Mustafi went and scored his, so, you know, it kind of backfired, really, bringing him on against Arsenal, because he missed his pen, and um, in the end, we're now at the FA Cup, so a bit annoying, I, I can't do anything about it, like I said, but, you know, I just wanted to finish that kind of achievement, the thing is, I didn't expect to, you know, get to the penalty show out against Arsenal anyway, I didn't even get expected it to extra time, I mean, I expected to lose, so I just thought, oh, I'll just stick him on bench this game, bring him on as a sub, you know, it won't really, it won't really do, I'll, it won't matter, but, you know, in the end, he kind of lost us a game, because he missed his penalty, obviously, he's a, a, a centre forward, CF position, um, like Messi used to be, um, you know, he's, he's got 94 potential, so I've signed him, hopefully, by the end of the season, I can get him up to 65, because at the moment, I think he's 59 rated, but, you know, that's one of my achievements, um, one of my objectives, and obviously, I've completed that now, which is good, so my managerial uh, rating will go up, because, you know, it's slacking, it's doing really bad, I'm like 69 rated, I've been 69 rated for a long time, I, I mean, I know jokes, lol, 69, but, you know, uh, he's, I'm in the red zone and I need to get out of that so completing that will obviously help me get out of it but as you see we are against Everton in our uh, last game in the episode and we had to took the lead with Jesse Lingard great great strike that is it's a great goal you know hard angle puts it past the goalkeeper makes it 1-0 to us um, obviously as you see on the screen there he he don't get a lot of goals Jesse Lingard but what he does is a, he sets loads up he's the you know highest assist um, player uh, in the league, so you know he's done very well on there. He uh, obviously it does both sides of the game, which I think he's well. But actually, Ross Barkley went down the pitch a few minutes later and actually scored his goal. Um, again, bit sloppy defending, but you know Ross Barkley with his kind of talent, um, you know he did very well there and finished it off and made it one one before half time. But like I was saying earlier on, obviously like um, Everton actually beat us. 3-0 in our, in our the reverse fixture, they've so far got the heaviest 
defeat of me. So I wanted a bit of revenge, to be fair, because, you know, I don't like getting thrashed whatsoever. And that game, they, they just absolutely embarrassed me. They, they were just unstoppable. But this game, you know, they weren't as good. I um, were playing quite well, I thought. You know, the team were playing well. Obviously, like you see, it was 1-1. And then Andrew Robertson, it was the first chance of the second half, this, in the 84th minute. And Robertson... Let's find some space down the left side. I mean, I put him on. I put the instruction with the fullbacks on overlap, and I mean, I don't know what he's doing there, but I'm so glad he was because he actually scored his first goal of the season in the 86th minute and made it 2-1 to us. So could we pick up three points in Goodison Park? Um, yeah, we could because Lingard went and got his second and made it 3-1 to us, so, you know, we won the game here at Goodison Park, well deserved, I thought, you know, Everton had the chances, it seems doing games, but, you know, I thought, you know, we deserved this one, um, Jesse Lingard again getting the goal, just, you know, a really good team goal, that one, and uh, that was the game, so, you know, all around good effort, uh, a bit gutting to obviously lose to, lose to Arsenal in the um, FA Cup, but, you know, we have the one, won the AFL Cup this year, so it's not too bad, and also Swansea, uh, in their last same game of the Premier League, we do win them at home 2 0 as well as they are bottom of the table. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit like on Sky if you are new, and guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace.